Hello, I will be demonstrating how to migrate data from the free version of the inventory management template to the premium version. If you have been using the free version to enter the data and manage your sales and inventory, and now you have decided to move to the premium version, then this video will help you with instructions on how to migrate your data from the free version to the premium version. I now have both the files open. So the one on the left is the free version of the template and I've already entered the products and the order information here. And now I want to start using the premium version with more advanced features and I want to migrate all the data from the free one to the premium one. The first thing I'm going to do here is just go here and view ribbon, arrange all, I'm going to choose vertical, hit OK. That keeps me, um, keeps the two files open so that I can work easily to migrate the data from one to another. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to enter the information about your business in the premium version. So I'm going to just quickly enter some. Okay, so now I've entered the basic business information. You can leave the second step is you can leave the location as it is, or if you have, if you want to give a different name to the location, you can type in here. And I'm assuming you only have one location. If you have more than one location, you can type up to 10 different values here. I'm going to leave it as it is. And now the next step is to go to the products sheet in the premium version. Now we have the products here in the free version here. So I'm going to copy all the data in my table here. Please note that I have about 26 products here. If you have more, please make sure that you select all of them. Right click copy or press control C. And now I'm going to click here on cell B6. Right click, paste values, click. So this will paste the information over to my new template and with all the right information. Now, one thing that is missing is product IDs, and it's always good to see the error messages at the top and make sure that you correct the gaps. So here we don't have product ID. So if you already have product ID data that you have saved or stored somewhere else, then you can copy from there and paste it. If you do not have any product ID system in your business yet, so you, if you want to create something new, then you can either type, I'm going to keep it simple and type, let's say product one PR one. And I will just fill this thing automatically. And now I've created my own product IDs. Again, this is only if you don't have an existing product ID management system, then you can use this. Otherwise you can type in your own product IDs. Now the error message went away. So we are good with entering the product details that's minimum necessary. But if you want to use tax rate calculations, then you would enter the tax rate information. If for certain products you don't want to manage inventory, you can just choose no. You can type in the unit of measurement, whether it's in kilograms or um, number of units or anything like that. And you also have additionally custom columns that you can use to track um, any um, piece of information about your products. And again, these are benefits that you get with the premium version of the template. Now, after the products detail, we're going to go and skip the starting inventory sheet because we won't need to enter anything here. We will be going to the partners sheet. And in the partners sheet, we have to enter the name of our partners and an ID and the other information about them. So I'm going to go to the orders and inventory sheet on our free template. And here you notice that we have partner name information in the partner column. So I'm going to select all of them. So let me do it again. So I just click on the first partner name row and I press control shift and at the same time enter the down arrow. This selects all the values I have here. 
please note that if you have any blanks in between, uh, be careful about it and make sure that you have selected all the values. And I'm going to do Control C for copy. I'm going to come over here and then in the partner name column, right click, paste values again. And this would paste all the partner name information over to the new template. And as you can see, obviously, we will continue to have this error duplicate partner names because we have um, duplicates. So what we're going to do is go to the data ribbon, hit remove duplicates, and then just hit OK. And there you go. We have removed the duplicates. Now, just like the product ID system, you would want to give a unique ID to each partner because that's something you have to provide to the template. And so for now, I'm going to just say PA1 and fill them in. So now I have created my own partner ID. You would enter the billing address information and the shipping address information, phone number, email address, and other information that you want to track for your partners. I'm going to skip that step here. That's something which is optional. If you want to um, use some of the additional features, I would recommend you to fill them in. But just for this demonstration, I'm going to skip that step. And now let's go to the orders table. And now we have to fill in all the orders. So basically each one line for each order. So in order to do that, I'm going to come over here to the free template. Same way, I'm going to select the first cell here, A14. Control Shift down arrow will select me all the values in this column. Now I'm going to keep pressing the Shift key and I'm going to press the right arrow. One more time. And so now I have selected three columns of information. Again, Control C. And let's come over here and I'm going to click on cell A6. Right click, paste values. It is very important that you click on the cell that I'm mentioning because that's the easiest way for Excel to start using the data that we are typing in, that we are pasting in. Now we have entered that information. Now we will want to come back to the free template and I'm going to select the partner column again, all the values, control C and click here in cell D6, paste values. So now we have basically entered the four columns of information. Now one thing that is an extra step here is I'm going to select all the order types here and I'm going to do control F to find and replace where I will type in purchase, find all purchases and then replace them with all capitals because that's how the premium version of the template works. So let's do replace all. As you can see here, we have replaced all the values. Again, it's a very simple two steps here that will basically clean up the data for us. There you go. So now we have created correctly all these values, but we still have duplicate order numbers. So I'm going to hit remove duplicates and I'm going to make sure that I have unique order numbers in my data. And I have now 13 unique order numbers. This is very important. If you have had some orders in the free template where you have add, added multiple order dates for the same order, then you will you will have some issues. But make sure that even in the free version, if you're using the one order should have only one order date because you place that order on one date on one order can have different expected dates. So what that means is I am placing an order on, let's say, 15th December and I expect some of the products on the order to come and arrive on the 22nd. Some of the products in the same order may arrive on 24th. So I can have two different expected date for the same order, but the order date should be unique for an order. That's important in the step. So I hope your data is that such a way. Um, and now, now with the error message is gone and we have unique order information here, then what we're going to do is to add the location. And since we have only one location option, then it's easy for me to do something like this. If you have multiple locations, then you can just either choose or you can type it in however you prefer. 
And now we have entered the order information. The last step in this process is to go to the order details section. The order details section is basically something very similar to the orders and inventory in the free version. So I'm going to select order number column and copy and I'm going to paste them here. And after that is pasted, I'm going to come back here and then enter the expected date. Copy, paste. And I'll, I'll also look for the product name, quantity, and unit price, all those three columns, copy, paste. So that ends our migrating of the data. So I'm going to save my file here. And now we can see that all of these calculations are automatically done. So you're done with the um, pasting of the data. So now I'm going to go to the invoice sheet and now I can, this is our invoicing capability that you have in the premium version that we don't have in the free version. So I'm going to type in P1 as the order number and you can see that immediately you can have a printable invoice with all the calculations, with your information about your company and all that. And since we didn't enter the billing address or the shipping address of the supplier, it's not appearing. But if you go back into the partner sheet and enter the billing address, then it'll automatically come up here. So you can just change the order number whenever you want and you get the invoice ready. And please note that you can always change any order number and you can print the any invoice anytime. So it's always available to you. Now, the next sheet, we're going to go into the dashboard. In, when you go to the dashboard, there is a message at the top that says, refresh the data from the data ribbon. So that's very important. I'm going to make it larger. That's very important because the this is dependent on pivot tables. And whenever you enter new data into the order table or order details table, it's important that you hit refresh. As you saw there, once you're refreshing, the calculations get updated. So it's a very one simple one-click step, but always make sure that you hit the refresh from the data ribbon at the top. And now you have to choose a location, and now you can see how many products do I have in my location. You can also choose a specific product. So I'm going to choose, let's say, ES30. Now it'll tell me what's my current inventory and um, what about today and what about in the future what kind of orders do i have and you can also see for specific location that you have selected all the details for this product you can see the current inventory at each location since we have only one location we are seeing one bar but if you have multiple locations you can see them all and this chart tells you the inventory in the last 12 months over time what has happened for the specific product and you can just choose any other product and you can see how the inventory has changed. And we don't have any of this product right now in our warehouse. That means we have to order this product. And you can see that here with the red color text which says to order, yes. So that's the uh, quick dashboard that helps a lot. And we go to the product report. The product report is um, a one sheet where you can see all the products and their specific details as of now and you can see for example the products which are colored in red they are the ones you have to order reorder because they have hit your reorder point and it's even easier to see them by just selecting yes which one should i order there it's ready you can print them you can email pdf whatever you would like because now you know clearly which products do i need to order what's my current inventory what's my reorder point and obviously this works even with multiple locations you can just choose the location and you can get this um, report created automatically there's no data entry everything is automated here analysis this is where you can analyze your sales and purchase information and you can see there it's already um, all built up ready you know and uh, again the same way every time when you make any new data entry please make sure that you hit refresh all so that this sheet gets updated with the latest data you can see the sales and purchase quantity and amounts you can um, see the profit calculations here and you can see the top 10 products that you're selling bottom 10 products by sales amount you can see how who are your um, most important partners from amount perspective sales and purchase partners and then you can also see by each product category 
how are they contributing to your sales. So all of these details are automatically updated and you have an op option to choose, for example, if I'm only interested in one of my product categories, I hit it and all the data gets updated. Same way, if I want only one product, I hit that and I can see the data for that one product. If I want to see all products, I hit this, all categories, I hit this. So it's a very simple um, to use analysis sheet. We also have analysis detail sheet, but the analysis details is the same as analysis, but for those who are using Excel 2007, the analysis sheet will not function. So you could use the analysis details, which has all the same information, but it's not as easy to use. For example, you have all these slicers or buttons, which you will not be seeing in Excel 2007. They only work with Excel 2010 and above. And I think I should have a message here that says, this sheet does not function in Excel 2007 or earlier versions, it doesn't work. But 2010, 2013, they will work. Uh, and for those who are using Excel 2007, you can use this. It basically, it's the old, old style, you know, just a pivot table and a chart that's connected to it but you'll still get all the information that the other sheet has. It just uh, is not as maybe as user friendly and um, easier on the eye as the analysis sheet. And basically that's pretty much all automated. And so the finally the help sheet um, talks a lot about how the calculations are working and how to use it. That is all we have in the in this premium version of the template and we have covered a lot. So if there are any questions, please leave me a um, note in the video comment section or um, leave me a note in, on my blog post or in zara.com and I'll definitely do my best to get back to you and answer your questions. And just to recap, we just did a very quick, easy way of migrating all the data we had from the free version onto the premium version. It should take less than 10 minutes uh, and to, to do the migration. And um, finally, if there are any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching the video.